Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. The history of rice, where do we even start? Uh, just a short summary um, in this video here as we continue our grain week, focusing on the grains that are not native to Europe. In the season that grains would have been eaten the most right about now in the late winter to spring. Rice is of course native to Asia, but we're not exactly sure where it has its origin. There are some clues and we think it could have been cultivated in the Yangtze River area in China up to 13,000 years ago, but there's even more clear evidence that rice was cultivated first in India about 7,000 years ago. So this is the cultivation, remember, but of course wild rice types would have been eaten long before that. The first written evidence of rice comes from China about 5,000 years ago, and that it is documented as being the center of a great festival season where the first rice would be planted. So you can see how important it would have been to the populations uh, at the time. We even have a different type of rice native to Africa called Orzia, and that would be cultivated more than 3,000 years ago. At least that's what we have evidence of. So definitely one of the most utmost important foods to many parts of Asia and even Africa for a very long time. However, it has to be grown in a very specific type of environment. To grow rice you need massive quantities of water in its early days, you need to flat out flood it basically when it's first planted, and then once it starts growing you need a long and uninterrupted season of hot and dry weather. So farmers had to find ways to both flood the fields and then drain the water from them at certain uh, crucial periods to grow rice. So it's definitely not possible to grow that in all parts of Asia. However, the greatest thing about rice is the sheer volume of food you get out of it. Enormous, enormous quantities of eatable food grown in a relatively small area where, like where you see these rice fields are. And of course, like all the other grains, rice can be preserved and stored for a very long time. It can be stored and eaten up to two years after harvesting. That's a very long time, so it's definitely not something that all parts of Asia could grow in their native habitat, but it is something that all parts of Asia would have had access to through trade for a very, very long time. As for Europe, where most of you watching have ancestry, they think rice was first brought into Europe uh, through trade at the time of Alexander the Great in 300 BC, but only in small amounts and it would have been reserved for the rich upper class of ancient Greece and Rome. About 1500 years later, in the 800s, the Arabs brought rice into Spain and we think it was grown there in small amounts at that time. But it wasn't until the 1500s though that we see that rice was cultivated on the wide scale all around the Mediterranean. And of course right around that time is when the European settlers would have brought it and introduced it to all the places that they moved around the world. So it has actually become part of a lot of native diets around the world in the past 500 years. All throughout the Americas, rice recipes, Asia of course, Africa, and any place where the conditions allow for rice growth. Growing time is about four months, so rice is typically harvested anywhere from the midsummer to the fall, depending on where you live. That's when it's in top season, but as I mentioned, even with very primitive preservation techniques, the rice can last up to two years if preserved. Up to 10 years you can really use it um, and eat it if there are some more modern preservation techniques. So rice is absolutely something that can be eaten year round and easily transported and traded. So it's something that our ancestors had access to for quite some time. For me in the north of Europe, not so much until fairly recently in history. So I usually try to stay away from foods like that that have no place in my ancestral diet, but rice I absolutely love. It is actually my favorite grain to eat, even though it's not my favorite grain for the ancestral diet. 
I do love it. I love the taste of it. I love what you can do with it. You can do so many things. All these different rice recipes, with spices and tastes from around the world. You can never get tired of eating rice as long as you continue to be creative with it. And it's also cheap. You can buy rice in bulk and you can store it for a very, very long time. Without rice, I would have never made it through my broke years in college, but that's just me. How about you guys? Do you like rice? Do you have it where your ancestors are from? Any special recipes, spices, ways you like to eat it? Let us all know. <laughs>